Hey, it's Paul. Today we're going to make our first React application. I'm going to start a series here on the channel involving React. It's another popular library like Angular, if you've never seen it before. And just like Angular, it has some nuances when you're looking to get started with React. We can use the Create React App package to create a React application that's pre-configured with Webpack and everything else we need to get started making a React app. So let's install that, providing you've got Node.js installed. And then run npm install create-react-app-g. When you've done that, we can run create-react-app once again. But this time we need to pass a folder name after which. So I'm going to put a project name at the moment, which will be first app. So to make use of the create react app, we can say create react app and then a name of a folder. So my folder is going to be called hello-world. This is going to install React, React DOM and React Scripts and set up everything we need to get started. If everything went successfully, you should have this success message and we can then CD, which is change directory, into that folder. So CD hello-world. I'm going to then open up the project inside of VS Code. So when we open up the project and look at the file structure for the first time, we have something called the node modules. And if you're already familiar with the node modules, you'll know that that's the dependencies for this project. If we install any dependencies with NPM, they will be put inside of node modules. We'll also be able to see the saved dependencies inside of our package.json. And at the moment you can see it's React and React DOM. Our dev dependencies are React scripts. And this is what allows us to run the project, builder, server, tester, and so on. Next, we have the public folder, and that contains our index.html with the div ID of root, and we'll be putting everything inside of the root ID at this moment in time. We'll take a look at this in a bit more detail. So if we take a look at the React DOM dot render, we can see that we're rendering a React component into the DOM. What this does is it renders the app component into the root container. So we can find the root container here in the index.html. So our app component gets rendered inside of this div. So what is the app component, I hear you ask? It's inside of app.js. So if we make a new component within React, we see that we have a class named app and it extends the component that we're importing here from React. Inside of app.js, we're creating a new class named app and we're extending the React component module. Now inside of our app component, we're rendering the following HTML. Now there's a few intricacies when it comes to rendering HTML inside of our React components. And if we look at the first example, you might see this class name equals app. We also have class name equals app header, app intro, and so on. This is because otherwise we would have class here and class here. So we have to use class name, which then gets converted to class inside of our HTML. We're also exporting the app module here and let's run it in the browser to see how it all looks. Inside of our terminal, when we created the React application, we got told about the npm start, npm run build, npm test, and the npm run eject commands. I definitely would recommend you don't run npm run eject at this point, but we can run npm start. This creates a new development server and allows us to look at what the app looks like at this moment in time. So let's run npm start. This is the same as something like ng serve with Angular, Ionic serve with Ionic, and the list goes on. So from here, if we make any changes inside of our code, it gets updated inside of our app. So let's change welcome to React to instead say, subscribe for more React videos and save that file. Instantly, it gets updated inside of our view and we get some different text on the screen. In the coming videos, we'll look at more React concepts as well as React Native. So if you'd like to see more React, let me know in the comments section below. And until then, hit that subscribe button for more videos. My name's Paul and I'll see you very soon.